Praise the name of the Lord. Today's topic, in every crisis, say yes to God. He is the only help that you have who can be able to make you conquer every crisis around you. God will make obstacles serve his purpose. When a train goes through a tunnel, and I always tell you, I always remind you about this, and it gets dark, you don't throw away your ticket and jump off. You sit still and trust the engineer on the steering. So therefore, that's the way it should be when it comes to God. We put our trust in him. And the Bible says, lean not into your own understanding. No faith is so precious as that which triumphs over adversity. In the book of Psalms 112, verse 7 to 8, it says this. That person, he will not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast. His heart is trusting. Confidently relying on and believing in the Lord. His heart is upheld. He will not fear. While he looks with satisfaction on his adversaries. Your decision to seek a deeper relationship with Christ will not remove all problems from your life. To the contrary, it will bring about a series of personal crises as you constantly seek to say yes to God, although the world encourages you to do otherwise. You live in a world that seeks to, to snare your attention and lead you away from the Lord. Each time you are tempted to distance yourself from your creator, you will face a spiritual crisis. At any given time when you create a distance between your creator and yourself, then I'm telling you, you'll end land yourself into a very big problem. You will always end up finding yourself in a spiritual crisis. A few of these crises may be monumental in scope, but most will be the small seemingly inconsequential decisions of everyday life. In fact, life here on earth can be another opportunity to grow closer to the Lord, seeking Him, reading His Word, meditating, and above all, prayer, fasting, you know, getting into an environment of uh, uh, what I would call serene environment of hearing His voice so that you can hear His voice. And at the same time, you may get closer to the Lord or to distance yourself from Him. So therefore, today you will face many opportunities to say yes to your Creator. You will face many. And you will also encounter many opportunities to say no. Life is a choice. Your answer will determine the quality of your day and the direction of your life. So please answer carefully. The sermon of your life in tough times ministers to people more powerfully, more than the most eloquent speaker. The great thing with unhappy times is to take them bit by bit, hour by hour, like an illness. The way you walk slowly when you're sick, it is a seldom the present, the exact present that is unbearable. Therefore, my brother, my sister, the great thing with unhappy time is unhappy times is to take them bit by bit, hour by hour, like an illness. It is seldom the present. It is, seldom, it is seldom the present, the exact present, that is unbearable. That way, you will be able to get yourself to the destiny and to the path of your victory. Finally, when I look at this word that we have spoken today, you are not meant to fear bad news. You are not meant to fear anything that may come along your way. Because when you have... The Lord, 
your heart will remain steadfast. Trusting in him, confidently relying on and believing in the Lord. Who will actually uphold your heart and he will, he will make you not to fear again. When you put your trust in him, your faith will walk you along and all shall be well. May the Lord bless you and I wish you the very best of the day and the week and the months and the years that are ahead of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's bow our hands and pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your loving kindness and of your mercy that endure forever. It is true that we need to put our trust in you in all crises. It is true that we need Jehovah Master to rely on you for guidance. We need to rely on you, Jehovah Master, for direction. And at any given time, Jehovah Master, when we put our trust in you, you will always, Jehovah Master, walk along with us and at the same time make our steps to be fruitful and at the same time we come out victorious. It is my prayer that Lord you be able to see us through. Remember the viewer and may your presence prevail in every area because you are faithful and you are gracious and you are merciful. I commit everything in the evil hands everlasting Lord and I pray that your favor and your love and your grace shall be able to stand in at any given time to the glory and honor of the holy name. I speak Jehovah Master blessings upon him and upon her at any given time. Let them further experience your supernatural power, especially this year, so that they may sing a new song. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.